Last May, more than 30 students ran for a leadership position in Hunter Student Government Association. Of the three candidates vying for the top position, students chose Ariana Ahmed, who ran on a Hunter United platform to become the new USG president. She joins us now in the studio to discuss her new role and what she hopes to accomplish in the new year. Welcome to the show, Ariana. Glad to be here. So, one of the things you've helped address is food insecurity amongst Hunter students. You've worked with the Purple Apron Food Pantry. What other key issues are you working to help Hunter students with in your new role as USG president? Well, after food insecurity, we found that the biggest issue was coming back on campus and knowing how to socialize once again after the entire digital courses and asynchronous learning. We're, ha we're hoping to host more social events, more intercultural nights, multi-faith nights to help students find that connection and what it feels like to be on an actual campus again. And um, what makes you different from all the other presidents? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, one thing that I would like to say is that when I first started as a freshman, I had one semester here, and then it was all online. But even though it was all digital for me, I found ways to connect. I refounded the Mock Trial Society, and that gave me a very big avenue of connecting with students beyond our courses, beyond just a Discord group chat. And I believe that going out of your way to make that community has been something I have not pioneered, but led many of the times. Okay, so um, just last week, the fifth floor library opened up and you were one of the speakers there. What does it mean to you to see Hunter's uh, infra infrastructure plans come to fruition? Um, as we increase in students, it's very, very important that we have space for the students that we're admitting. Seeing people have the space to sit down, have somewhere to drink their Starbucks coffee, or even study, you know, that's what a library's for. Uh, it's, it's been wonderful because a lot of general student body doesn't really have somewhere to go, unlike the communities that are part of the honors groups, or even student government, they all have a space. But it's nice to see that now everyone has a space. And it's already so crowded. <laughs> yeah. The pandemic impacted the lives of many, and um, the Hunter community was no exception. What is your message to the Hunter community, staff, faculty, and students for this new year? If the pandemic has taught us anything, that it is that New Yorkers are resilient. And that goes the same for Hunter College, being at the heart of New York City. I think even as commuters, even as people who dorm, we've shown again and again that we show up for each other, we show up for ourselves, and that we can always come back stronger when we have everything back in person. Well, thank you, Ariana, for stopping by and chatting with us. Of course, thank you for having me.